Hi everybody. All right, so today I'm just gonna do a really short video, all right? I just wanna kinda get everyone up to speed um, on what, uh, what we're doing in, in the course now and uh, talk a little bit about uh, the, the upcoming personal uh, project. So first thing, let's, let's take a quick look. I'm on the, the D2L shell here. And if I go to content, uh, <clears throat> go to course info, and we have our course plan. And this is kind of a week by week breakdown of what we're looking to do. So as we know, there's two components to this course. There's what we call the emerging trends. And this is, this is basically us uh, working on our programming skills and developing applications that we can use to demonstrate to an employer that we are a skilled programmer and this will help us get our job. As well, we have workforce preparation. And this is stuff uh, like resume preparation, using LinkedIn, uh, career planning, interview skills <clears throat> that uh, we, we also are gonna be doing uh, during the course. All right. Now, so far we've completed the first two weeks. Uh, we've looked at version control, we've started our demo application, and this week you guys today are finishing your um, project, the project number one. Okay, now the other stuff we're gonna be looking at this week is we're going to start planning our personal um, application. So we've talked about this before, but I'm asking you guys to pick a project that you're interested in, in doing. And we're gonna start, you're gonna start working on that this week. And the, the first stage of development is what we call the project plan. That is gonna be due a week from now, all right? And I'll be talking more about that. Now as well, I also have resume listed here. And it turns out we're not gonna start the resume until next week, okay? Um, and there's a few reasons for that, but basically the, the, simple, the simple story to that is um, when you're, you're planning uh, your resume and, and planning you know, to apply for jobs and such, um, one of the most common mistakes that um, I think that some people make, and I certainly made this when, when I was a student, is that they take a resume that they did as like a, an assignment, uh, maybe they got a 70 on it, and they take that and they hand that in as that's their resume that they're going to submit for a job. And uh, I certainly had this, this issue when I was in school. And um, I remember applying for all kinds of jobs. And as you would expect, you're not necessarily gonna hear back from every job. You apply for 50 jobs, you might, uh, you might hear back for just you know, a handful, right? But I noticed that I wasn't hearing back for a lot of the jobs um, and some of them I thought, like some of the programming jobs, I thought, you know, I'd be pretty good at that. And it turned out that um, some other, you know, students that I graduated with, they did hear back on some of these jobs. And what I realized was that they had much more polished resumes um, that they had put a lot more effort into than, than mine. And I think the biggest fear when you apply for a job is that your resume is just going to get quickly glanced over and, you know, discarded, right? And, and that's a common thing. I mean, uh, any company that's hiring, they're going to get hundreds of resumes, potentially, and they have to then quickly narrow this down. They can't go in and interview 100 or 200 people. Um, so they're, the first thing they're going to do with these resumes is they're going to go through and just discard most of them um, and, and get it down to the ones that they're actually interested in. So our goal, one of our main goals when we're doing our um, career prep is to put ourselves in a position where we're not going to get discarded. And doing a really strong GitHub is, I think, you know, a really good idea. Um, because if it's a programmer who is going through and, and, you know, filtering these resumes, if they see the GitHub, they're not going to, they're going to look, okay? It doesn't mean you're not going to get discarded. But they're going to look. They won't be able to help it. They're going to be interested. Well, what, what does this person have on their GitHub? They, right? They're not going to be able to just, just throw it away immediately. So that is a really good one. Um, but the other thing that we can consider with resume is using a professional service to help you with your um, resume and your career prep. Um, and this has a lot of really, really big advantages, especially for you guys. I mean, you guys at this point are still, um, uh, I guess, a couple years away from when you'll graduate and you'll be um, looking for a job. 
So you have some time now to sort of do some research and plan out how you're going to prep your resume. And, and I mean, the one tip that I have is don't take the resume that you handed in and you got a 75 on, okay? Don't use that. I mean, the very least, take that and have someone you trust edit it and go through it with you. That's a, that's a valid strategy as well. Um, but the one that uh, I'm going to be um, demonstrating to you guys uh, next week is using a professional service to create a top quality resume. And um, I mean, for example, I'm, I'm an expert in software development, especially video games. So I, I can show you guys how to create and code video games and, and database, you know, and, and JavaScript and all this kind of thing. But when it comes to resumes, you know, I'm okay. Um, but there are people who are professionals, who this is their career, they've, they've taken courses, they're certified uh, in this. And, and I think that we should definitely take a look at that. And you guys will benefit greatly. Uh, I really hope, I'm really excited about this. But uh, that's not ready to go this week. So that's next week, we'll be doing videos and I'll be presenting that information uh, about resumes. Um, so, so resume gets moved to week four. So today we're fin finishing the, pro the project number one and then we're looking at the personal uh, application. So let's go take a quick look here uh, at our projects. So first thing, when you guys are submitting your Connect4 assignment, make sure that you've gone, gone back over this and make sure you're submitting everything. So I do have a Dropbox there. I want the, the source code submitted to the Dropbox. I also need to know what your GitHub account is because I'm gonna go and now start looking at these GitHub accounts, making sure that you've been following along and uh, performing the, the steps uh, using version control and then pushing those changes uh, to Git. Um, and then I wanna also look at the URL and to see that you've uh, added some additional screenshots of intermediary steps from completing uh, the additional uh, Git tutorial. Okay, so that, that should be all pretty simple. Uh, let's also now look at the um, personal project. So this is new, and basically anytime we're gonna do some sort of project or you know whatever we're starting, there always needs to be a planning phase that uh, goes along with this. Um, you know, one of the biggest mistakes, and I've emphasized this in classes before, is that you sit down and you just start coding, right? And that's never gonna go well. Uh, even someone who's a really experienced programmer, you know, they might think, okay, I can, I can just sit down and crank this out. It's rarely, rarely a good idea. So we're just gonna do a very minimal um, planning for this, but basically I'm looking to get a half page write up describing your project. So just using sentences, tell me what project you're gonna make. Uh, I also want you to include the programming language, the development environment or text editor, whichever one you want. Maybe it's Visual Studio Code, maybe it's brackets, um, whatever. Uh, include that. And I also want you to think about what art and audio assets you might want to use and where you'll get them. Maybe you have a friend that, that is an artist. Maybe you, you've, you know some websites that have uh, free, uh, free art that you can download. Maybe you're planning on creating the art assets yourself. So I'd like to know uh, a little bit about that. And then I'd like to see three tutorial links. So these links don't have to be that specific. I just wanna see some links that show that you're thinking about improving your skills related to this project. So three links that would be beneficial for the project. These could be pro uh, related to the programming language you're gonna use. These could be related to the version control of Git or, or how to use GitHub. Uh, and they could also be related to the project you're gonna create. Maybe there's a tutorial out there that walks you through creating a, that type of project. Uh, so that would be, those are really valuable things that you can uh, look at before you actually uh, begin uh, the project. Now I have a Dropbox for this and that's due next Wednesday. So please, once you've submitted the uh, project this week, please begin working on the project plan. Um, and that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to go over today. Um, so if you guys have any questions, reach out on D2L and we'll be starting the resume stuff. I'll have that ready to go for next week. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna conclude the video, short video for today. 
Uh, good luck getting in your, your project number ones, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Okay, bye.